Hello again. I thought I would show you these gifts I've made for some friends. They are needle cases. They make a lovely gift for anyone. Well, let's open one up and have a look. Right, we'll start with the smallest one. That's the one I'm sending first. It's for a birthday. So I've got a little nameplate on there and I put pins and needles in small letters. I just stuck it to a piece of fabric to put in there. These pieces of fabric were just ends of curtains and things that I've I've had. Now this one I've put a little closure with a elastic uh, covered cord so it just ties on to the button there and slips over the button that I put on the front and on the outside I've got these little sewing reels that I've wound round with some wool I put a little bead on the, on the bottom just to keep them in place but I've noticed that they're actually magnets I didn't plan on that but actually it's quite useful keeps it together right, let's have a little look inside so here we have I put this nice fabric on the inside and I've made some um, belly bands with old tape measure I've layered it with lace on the front here and a little bit of lace going along the bottom edge then I've put a pocket in here with a little slim pocket and that's just holding a needle um, a thread picker a very useful tool I've placed some buttons on here so they can be used if my friend needs to. In here we've got from the Curious Moon Design Etsy shop I've got this little um, needle holder that I've just stuck on some card there, or well, not card, it's just lining paper. And then I've made a little needle placement to go inside. So that just folds up and I pop that in there. I put a little, little brad there with a heart. I've got some safety pins here with some beads on and then that's holding a thimble. It's an adjustable thimble, quite useful, it fits any finger. And then I put some needles in here pins and I've threaded some gold cotton on the on the needles there and a little charm a little pin there with some beads on some more buttons this has got a pocket and I've edged it all with some different stitching inside the pocket there are some little cards you can write on um, and a little notepad which I've made up. These again are all on the Curious Moon Design shop. Here I've got another belly band with an old tape measure. Safety pin with some buttons and beads on safety pins, little charms, needles and pins there, more needles and pins there and here we have a little button card. Again this is from the Curious Moon Design shop and I've just printed it on card and placed a button on there. These are some old fasteners that I had in my sewing box, which I've just popped in the belly band there. Over on this side, we've got 
two pockets, one little lace pocket and then uh, a cotton pocket there. So with a tape measure in and here we've got a fastener and I thought uh, my friend could put her scissors on there. I haven't purchased scissors, I know she has um, lots of scissors so I thought she'd probably rather have her own scissors. And these little cotton reels are from the Curious Moon Design Etsy shop um, and I've just wound some wool and thread cotton on there. They look rather nice tucked in there. Here we have another button card and it's got some sewing instructions on there. So that just goes in a little pocket there, holds in with a button. And then the little wall bit there. Got a pencil in there. It was a large pencil. I cut them in half and um, just enough there for it to fit in. Little needle threader, some ribbon, some more pins there. And then on the back I've just put her initials on there with a nice big button. So I think she'll be quite pleased with that. Her birthday's very soon. So this one is a bit larger. That's for another friend. Um, I've still got the little nameplate on there, but the fabric I've used is I've um, done some crazy quilting with scraps of fabric and I've edged along the panels with different stitches and I put a little jewel on there. The button I've sewn with some beads. It, this one's tied up with a ribbon. I've covered a button there with the same fabric as on the front panel. And then I just tied on some ribbon there and it just attaches that way. So these I think are quite nice to you know, live in the lounge or somewhere on the, in the coffee table drawer just so that it's handy for you to pick up if you need to do any sewing. I don't want to get your big needlework basket out. So in here we've got some fabric here making a pocket. Um, I've done made another belly band there with some old tape measure um, that was overstretched and wasn't measuring correctly. This is a little notebook I've made with one of the images from the Etsy store. It just pops in there. And the button there. And I've got some little fasteners in there. I made another slim pocket there for the thread picker. Some ribbon. And here I put another piece of fabric in with some stitching going around, which is quite effective. A threader there, some pins, little charms. These are all unique because I've done slightly different things with each one. Some buttons on there and some more quilting. Okay, so this one inside has a side pocket. Some nice fabric there. And I've um, done some embroidery stitches down here and matching ones on the edge here just to make a nice edging. Again, I made a little fastener there for scissors to clip on. Now my friend's birthday isn't for a little while, this one ends, so I might get some scissors to go in there. But we'll see. Uh, another needle holder there. That I've downloaded and just on uh, photocopy paper and then I've stuck it to lining paper and just 
inked up the edges a little bit. A nice button card. Just printed that straight onto card stock and uh, it makes it easy to just add the buttons. I might add some spare button cards and they can put their own buttons on. Um, some ribbon here with the thimble on. That's one of the adjustable thimbles there with a pin there with some beads on. Some more pins and charms. I've added a piece of fabric coming down here just to add to the design. And then here we have a pocket. Inside this one I've got a little picture which um, is just another little booklet I've made up. And then this is another another little notebook and that's just a little end of a cotton reel that you can also get from the Etsy store. Pop that in there. Again I've done some embroidery stitches along the edges of these pockets just to make them stand out a little there. Little charm there. Here I've got a crochet hook and a, a weaving needle. This I know my friend does like to crochet so I've added that little wooden crochet hook there. I'm sure she has lots of crochet hooks but it's just nice. I've made a, a slimmer pocket there for the um, crochet hook and some extra things there on the belly band. Some buttons, pins, charms, some Safety pins, always handy for the sewer. And in here again I've got the cards for wool and cotton. Another button card, pencil, tape measure in there, a little charm. And I've added a little lace pocket there, just to... And a little brad, the heart brad another button. So that's that one. And then this is the third one I've made. So this fastener I, I've made with a um, cotton reel on a piece of silk cord again around a button. So they all close slightly differently. Um, again I've made the quilted fabric and etched, edged the pieces with some nice stitching in gold. I've also added some pearls on there on the edge of the stamen on the flowers. The cotton reels added a button there and they just hang down there nicely. So this one, again with the pockets, um, the thread picker there, ribbon, needle holders and little instruction card on how to darn, that's quite nice, pops in there, little charms, again I added, before I added this piece for the pins. I added um, a little bit of fabric there just to give some more interest. A nice button and a little pocket here. Again with the little notebooks which are so handy to pop down some measurements or if you're knitting or crocheting to write down your rows. And it's quite a deep pocket so you can put quite a lot in there if you wanted to. Another button card, a big pin with a bead on and I have put the crochet hook through that one um, just to be different and a little wooden crochet hook. Down here I've added the um, thimble on a little clasp here just on some tape 
just to run down the middle there, just so it's handy. And a little stud. Again, some more fabric for interest, pins, buttons. And this is, I've varied the colours a little bit, so that's just sort of a greeny hue, blue, and then we've got pink here. Another lace pocket with buttons and tape measure, a little booklet there, another fastener for scissors and some edging strip there with a embroidery leaf on, little cotton wool cards, pins and a pencil. And then that one does up like so. So I'm very pleased with those. To find some nice boxes, I think, to parcel them up. I've got to send send two in the post, and one is for locally. So I'll find some nice tissue paper, a nice box, and uh, that should make a nice gift. I think I might make myself one just to keep downstairs, keep all my bits and pieces in. And I'll run through how I've made um, bits and pieces from the needle book, um, the quilting fabric and, um, and how I've put it together. I'll make one on camera I think and um, go through the different stages. So I'll let you know when that one's ready. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed looking at these. Thanks for watching and I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.